Alright, Rocco. Now, this particular helicopter can do this. See that? Yep. That's because we have three servos up here that can move the entire swash plate up and down. It looks really weird when, when the blades are off like that, but when you put the blades in proper orientation, they're doing that. Collective pitch. So, here we go. Oh, that's ugly. God, that was really bad. It's airborne. It's airborne. It's reasonably stable. And hovering, sort of. Let's get away from all this stuff. You're in complete control. Well, <laughs> well, that's debatable. You're right. Yeah. Very valuable control. I, I'm, I'm doing something. Over here. There's a really big air current up there, and this thing gets knocked around a lot. Ow! Never. Well, that's a new one. I never did that before. If I keep it low, though, I'm not, I don't get too caught up in the air. This makes the crashes a little easier. At least the dead drops. There you have it. Six channels collected pitch. This yeah. is a lot more controllable in these air currents. Like this helicopter can totally handle it, but not with the controls set the way I have them. I've got I've got my dual rates way low. And you have all six channels being controlled by you at the moment? I uh, well as far as six channels go, one of them is heavily gyro, but yeah. yeah. There's so much downdraft over here. Now this is as simple as it gets. This is this is like freshman level stuff. So I'm just doing a basic tail and hover. But it's a relatively stable hover. It's getting better. Well, it depends a lot on where I am in the room. Well, I mean compared to when you first brought it off the ground. Oh god, yeah. This is my fourth battery in this helicopter. And an air turret. Come back here. So we'll head over this way. Heading towards me? Yeah. Fly by.
trying to find good spots over here without air conditioning. So over there, there's one that goes into the door. The one over here wants to send you that way. There's one, it's really unpredictable, but there's one that wants to send you right over the workbenches. So somebody commented, actually several somebodies, this is a recurring topic of, hey, why don't I 3D print parts for the helicopter? Well, first off, that's really expensive to do because the parts for these are pretty cheap. Like the new tail rotor to replace the one I broke last night is like a $3 part, maybe four. And Incoming. it's just, it's way too time consuming and way too expensive. And even if I did it, I'd be making inferior parts because they'd be too heavy. Come down here. Let's not do that. And I've lost you. There you are. That's all right. I'm trying really hard to get this thing back. There we go. You, once you get up in an air current, you're going for a ride. Did you ever figure out what was causing your other one to drift? Which one? The one that did its own circular patterns. Oh, that one? Yeah, it's it's the fly bar and issues with that design. That helicopter is really suited for teaching finesse. It is not in any way for fast forward flight. This twitchy little thing can do just about anything. This is fully capable of continuous inverted flight. Oh, there goes the battery. Swap out the battery and fly the next one. There's a timer on here. I should check that before I'm looking at it. I've been trying to figure out how to use the timer. I've, it's supposed to work with the switch. The throttle hold switch. Trainer. It's on the trainer switch. That's what it's on. Let's set it to the throttle cut switch. I had the timer on the wrong switch. Right, let me see if I can make this one. Turn the throttle cut on. Grab my other battery. Heater's off for a minute, so I can fly up there a little bit. No air currents? Well, there's still a couple. There, there's always residual air currents for a few minutes after the heater turns off. I can definitely feel it, but it's not as bad as it was. I mean, we'd probably turn the air heater off for the 15 minutes of fly time you do a day. Uh, where'd you go? Inbound. <laughs> the nano ate my balls. I'm tempted to say pilot air. No, it's I got a really bad vibration and then and then this one. I had a, I had a really weird shuddery vibration thing happening. I don't know what the hell that was. But a really really weird shutter vibration thing and then it just stopped flying. Or at least controlled flight.
தயாராகும் நமக்கு Well, the heater did just kick back in too. Parts are a lot cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, bad crash with this, I might spend 10 bucks. My first bad crash with my, when I had my RC in a heli, well, let's just say it, it sat on a shelf for a while. That's a really common thing. Guys who go out and buy some whip shit helicopters, the first thing, fly for 30 seconds, immediately crash it. And uh, then it sits in the garage. That exact reason is why I started with really cheap little helicopters. I will tell you it was quite a magnificent magnificent crash. Augured one of the one of the blades into the ground and saw the whole thing flip over and whip into the ground. <laughs> what were you flying? Uh, it was a low end uh, uh, heli. I can't remember anymore. It's been so long. I ended up trading it off at one point. I just didn't have the time to dedicate to going out and flying. Well, I try to do two batteries at a time. Three flights per day. Normally I don't log my morning flights at all. But I happen to be strolling by. You happen to be walking by only my second day on 6th day, so that building is wow, there's a lot of air. Let's take this. Let's get down a bit. This is so on the edge of it. Let's just stay right here. I can't even imagine at this level doing like a nose in cover. I, I'm nowhere near ready to start practicing my right I want to. <laughs> But I'm not that good. But if I do this six times a day, every day, for a couple weeks, this will get easy. But this is as hard to me as my first day on Fortune. I understand why guys do cars and boats. <laughs> 
and quads. I decided I was going to do uh, planes first before I got back into it. You know I've never flown an RC plane, and there's our battery. No beep, no nothing. I don't, I don't know what's up with this timer. So that's it. Blade Nano, CPX. I know how different point people ask me what kind of helicopter is that. It's a Blade Nano CPX that needs a canopy. Canopies are cheap, which is good because I got a field I'm going to go through a few. And we landed with all the parts that we started with. Successful flight. That's my line, by the way, is if you land with all the parts that you started with, if you, if you don't have to buy new parts for the helicopter, it's a successful flight. Landing with all the parts in one piece. Well, they're all in one piece, but the canopy's a little beat up. But I don't know if that happened today or yesterday, but I got a chunk on my canopy. But I got an Amazon wish list with like all the parts for this helicopter that I never plan on bringing. Now that it works, I gotta say I'm a huge fan of the Nano. My first one was Borg Turn Factor. I thought it was just that incredibly hard to fly. And it is a bitch to fly, but it's it's no it when it works, it works great. And my first one had a bad board, which I thought that was just pilot error. I thought I was just that incompetent. No, it was it was actually a bad board. And I got those and instantly I got it. It works. Certainly not a first helicopter, no way, to start four channels. Um, really, really, really learn four channels. I'd recommend before going to this, going to the SR120 because that helped me a lot. But yeah, I like the Nano. I like it a lot. I like that it's it's six channels. It's hard to fly, and I can fly it indoors, and I can like you can crash it into your leg and you're fine. You do that with with like the SR, and you're gonna hurt. Cool. All right. So that's the morning. It is uh, Friday, February 7th, 10.22 hours, and we've spent all day yesterday cleaning. You'll notice, you can see the line. Look, you gotta see this. This was yesterday. Yesterday all day was floor scrubber, and you can see why. Every surface of the lab looked like that, and we're just, we're cleaning up the funk. And today we've got big VIP tours, so I don't know how much blog there is, but we'll see what happens. So, you guys have fun. I'll be back. Cool, they got us. Alright guys, it's 14.04 hours. Let's do viewer mail. We got a box. This has my name. It's from Photo Jojo, who hearts us. Photo Jojo loves us. Dinosaurs. We sent you a smartphone film scanner. Rawr. It has Dinosaur. That's a stegosaurus. I knew that and I didn't even have to ask for it. And this is a smartphone film scanner. <laughs> I have no idea who sent this in. I didn't order it, so I, I don't know. Thank you. Whoever did, comment, let us know. This is something you can name on it. It's power supply. It's a pretty Good idea that that's something Moose ordered for something. I don't know what. Looks like foam charger. Resonance.
from Novatech, something ordered off the Amazon wish list. It's from Alex Vaughn. Thank you, sir. His, his note goes on the wall. Receipt. Oh, it's more of these things. I don't know what's up with these. Somebody's got a project. Oh, this is stuff for uh, Boxy. Okay. I feel better now. It's a Boxy. It's a security system. It's a shirt. I always get nervous when you're shirts. I always get nervous when they're shirts. There's a back to it. Is, does it? I'm so totally wearing that. I said that in a blog the other day. When Doogie and I were working on the kiosks. Yes, you said something similar. Yeah. My life has just hit a new level of surreal when something I say in the lab can end up on a t-shirt in the mail. That's just... Who the hell sent me that and you're freaking me out? What are you doing? Touching the cable. Why are you touching the cable? You're yeah. breaking it. Turn cable. Look, look at it. Look at it. Yes, it's spasming. Oh. Oh. This is from Horizon Hobby, who has some interesting packaging. I'm guessing this is something I ordered. It didn't come with the secret mail code because I only have that set up for stuff I buy on Amazon, so this ended up in Bureau Mail. My guess is it's a helicopter part. With any luck, it's two helicopter parts. Yep, that's me. Helicopter parts. I'll show you because somebody's going to ask. Like the packaging there. Yeah, I had to order it from, I love Horizon Hobby, I had to order it from them because you can't, I couldn't find these on Amazon. This is the Bell Mixer Arm and Push Rod Set, and this is the Bell Mixer Main Blade Grip, because I broke my helicopter. As you saw in the blog the other day, it flew for about 30 seconds, and I put it down had a boom strike because I flew an outdoor helicopter inside and I shouldn't have done that. It's a neat thing with helicopters. They got a bit of a learning curve, but the learning curve on model helicopters is like... Whew. You're on the top of this, Alex. Alex is special. He's here too. Alex is all over this list. He's a cereal donor. Whoever sent me the shirt, thank you, even if you're freaking me out. That's viewer mail for the day, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I figured it out. You guys start showing up to viewer mail because I give out gummy bears and viewer mail. You couldn't do that again if you tried. <laughs> got a sharp. All right. I got to go give a VIP tour and kiss the corporate butt. Mm -hmm.